Hey guys, how are you doing? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So yeah, shortages, shortages, shortages. It seems like every other video we're talking about Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5's shortages. It's insane. It is gabagoo. I don't know what to say with that. Anyways, guys, before we get into this, Phil Spencer, he has been talking a lot. I think he's been saying a lot of good info, a lot of insight. It gives you a lot of interest where Microsoft lies as far as consumers go. And they've been doing pretty good so far for the most part. I got to give Microsoft a good fair shake. The Series X launch was loads better than the Xbox One launch as far as features, response to consumers, and stuff like that. But the main problem is the shortages. Phil Spencer went on to talk during a appearance at GlitchCon. Before we get into this article though, if you're not subscribed, why don't you click the red subscription button down below and join the APE Nation. Get those notifications. <laughs> that rhymed. Anyways, enough cringe. It says Xbox boss Phil Spencer apologizes for Xbox Series X and S shortages. The console is so popular that it sold out quickly and Microsoft is now working tirelessly to get more stock. The Xbox Series X and S consoles are finally here the and the launch... It's going extremely well for Microsoft. This apparently was the biggest launch Xbox has ever had. Consoles are selling out fast and Xbox boss Phil Spencer has now spoken about this, apologizing for the shortages. So he goes on to say, We need more consoles, Spencer said during an appearance at GlitchCon. The number one request I get over and over is, It's so hard to get the consoles right now. And I really apologize for that. We've been building them for almost two months now and trying to get as many into stores as we can. But the demand is just so high. And that is an understatement. The demand is phenomenally high to the point where you cannot even find these consoles in stores yet. The rumor is April 2021 is when we will see them readily available for you to walk into a store and buy one. And that's not out of the realm of actuality. I mean, look how quickly these pre-orders got snatched up look how quickly in-store launch day consoles got snatched up or online launch day consoles it's not like anything i haven't seen it, it is crazy so spencer went on to say that with covid19 impact in the world as it has covid19 have you seen that evangelist televangelist let me know 2020 has been a challenging year with all kinds of obstacles for developing games and releasing a new platform Despite those challenges, Spencer said he's proud of his teams and those at Sony and third-party publishers for releasing new games and consoles this holiday season. In a post on Xbox Wire, Xbox boss Liz Harmon also acknowledged the shortages, saying Microsoft is working tirelessly with its retail partners globally to bring more next-gen Xbox consoles to people soon. So they're working tirelessly. They're acknowledging it. They're saying, guys, we know you guys want it. We're shaking. We know you want it. Despite the shortages, Xbox X and S launch represented the biggest ever for Microsoft. The company sold more consoles in more countries than ever before over the first 24 hours, which is big. Like, props to Microsoft for coming out of the failure of the Xbox One. It says, for comparison, Xbox One sold more than 1 million units over its first day in 2013. So the Series X S consoles did better. But Microsoft did not mention a specific sales number. They're being tight-lipped about these sales numbers, by the way. I wonder why. Interesting. So it says the Xbox Series S console specifically was a big hit at launch as it added the highest, highest percentage of new players for any Xbox console at launch. So that's interesting. New Xbox players. Highest percentage of new players for any Xbox console at launch. The Series S, the digital-only title console that is very interesting there i'd like to see some numbers maybe microsoft will do this eventually so additionally microsoft said 70 percent of xbox series x s consoles are attached to an xbox game pass subscription that in particular is a very big deal as xbox game pass might be microsoft's secret weapon on next gen the stock shortages for xbox series x and s consoles were expected as spencer warned people many weeks ago to expect demand to outship supply Due to in part <laughs> to the expected shortages, 
The Switch is expected to be the best-selling console platform during holiday 2020 in the U.S. That's going to be interesting about the Switch. Um, so, yeah. Xbox Game Pass killing it for the Xbox. So, yeah, they're apologizing for the shortages. That's, that's good on them. It seems that Phil Spencer has been... On par, like on on the button, talking to Xbox fans and gamers. Um, it seems like every other day he's doing a media interview, an appearance, answering questions, addressing concerns, and that's good on them. I feel that they have been top notch so far. It's frustrating that there's shortages. I know some people don't have these games, these consoles yet. It's gonna be a while, guys. Honestly. Um, I'm trying to help you guys also anytime I see like a sale, whether it's a Black Friday sale or some kind of information on stores having in-store consoles or something like that. I'm trying to let you guys know about it as soon as possible. That way you guys all have a chance to do it. But it, it seems every day more and more these consoles are suffering extreme shortages. And it's going to be like that way for, for the rest of the year. Honestly, there's rumor... That even though there is stock at Black Friday, the stock's going to be very limited. And by very limited, I mean two PlayStation 5 consoles, two Xbox Series X consoles. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> and people are going to be shut out. Um, online orders are supposed to be happening. The UK is supposedly going to be getting more stock of next gen through a lot of the retails like Curry's and stuff like that. I'm hoping it's not as bad as what it, the outlight looks outlook looks like. Maybe Phil Spencer and Xbox and even Jim Ryan are just doing blanket statements so that it looks like they're addressing the fans still, but maybe things will be better than they're expected. Maybe Christmas will be saved. Maybe Tiny Tim will have his PlayStation 5. Who knows? But there's that big lingering thing, that big cloud of COVID-19 out there that is causing problems and there's bigger things to worry about here guys than than consoles trust me it's not all about oh why can't we get our gaming consoles uh, uh, screw the pandemic it's bigger things to worry about here but it is frustrating for gamers trust me i know Ugh. hopefully you guys don't have to wait much longer i'm glad phil spencer though is going out of his way to talk about this to talk you know to be hands on he's being very cordial and nice to the xbox fan base so i gotta give him props on that anyways guys what are your thoughts let me know your comments in the comment section down below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say and again if this is your first time coming to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that subscription button help get me to eighty thousand. i appreciate y'all you have a great day peace out